Here's, we're gonna have to use a couple uh, properties of exponents in this one. And one of the most important properties of exponents that we're gonna wanna use is um, our negative exponent, which I think a lot of students forget. And they look at this and they say, all right, we gotta get these to the same base, right? But it's not as easy as like two and eight, right? Where you can rewrite eight as two cubed. This one, now you have one over 64. And this one's 32. They look like they're not even close to being the same power, right? And then you have a problem. So first of all, let's try to wrap. This is a fraction, and that's not a fraction, right? This is just going to be your whole number, not, right, not written as a fraction. So the first thing is I want to do is how can I rewrite 64 in the numerator without having the 64 in the denominator? How can I rewrite that by using my properties of exponents? Yes? I could. Uh, multiply by 64, but unfortunately, this 1 over 64 is being raised to a power. So it's not going to be as simple. And one thing that what would do is that would actually cancel it out too. But you can't cancel it out because it's being raised to a power. So good, that's exactly, that's good thinking because previously that's what we did, right? We would just, you know, when you get it off the bottom. But what I want you to do is I want to rephrase the question. By using the properties of exponents, how can I get the 64 off our denominator? Let's remember this property of exponents. x to the negative m equals what? 1 over x to the m, not negative m, but m. So ladies and gentlemen, if I have a number right, in the denominator, to rewrite in the numerator, I can write it as its negative version. Now you might say, well, Mr. McLogan, that's with numbers with an exponent. Well, is 64 raised to an exponent? It always is, right? It's always raised to the first power. So if I want to rewrite this in the numerator by using the properties of exponents, I can say 64 to the negative first power. Does that make sense on what I did? Yeah. Am I having general more of a questions? All right, because we're still not done yet. But do you see how I go went from 1 over 64 to? C minus 2 is No, yeah, but that's all I did was change what's inside the parentheses. I haven't, ch I haven't done anything with C minus 2 yet. But all I'm saying is I rewrote, follow this rule. 64 to the negative first power is equal to 1 over 64, right? Do you understand following this rule, that works? So that's all I did. I was given this, and I rewrote it like that. That's it, OK? But now, ladies and gentlemen, are they still the same base? No. no. All right, so then we look at it. Can I take 32 and raise it to a power that's going to give me 64? No, that worked last time. It doesn't work for this, right? 32 times squared is not going to be 64, right? So there's going to be some kind of little decimal fraction or something we're going to deal with that's going to give it. And we're going to talk about that in a sec. We're going to talk about that a little bit later in the class. But so now I want to see, well, all right, so 32 doesn't work. Let's look at other numbers. Is there might be another number that we could use as a base to represent both of these? Huh? I could use two, right? Because so I could write 64 as what? 2 to the? Well, 4 here because 4, 4 works for 64, right? Because 4 squared equals 16 and 4 cubed equals 64. The problem is we can't write base 4 for 32. OK, that's, where we, that's why we can't use 4. But we can use base 2, though. So how could I rewrite 64 as base 2? 2 to the 6. And how can I rewrite 32? 2 to the 5th. OK. Now, let's just kind of multiply. Let's just use the power of product rule. Or sorry, just the power of power rule. 6 times negative 2 is 2 to the negative 6. Then I do this again. So therefore, I get 2 to the negative 6c plus 12 equals 2 to the 10c. Right? I'm just now applying multiplication. Then 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have, so now these cancel out, or we don't need them anymore, and we're left with negative 6c plus 12 equals 10c. So therefore, c in this case is going to equal 3 fourths. What third step? I, mean, third step. That, like third step, like yeah, I just rewrote 64 as 2 to the 6th power. Do you agree with that or not agree with that? Let's write them out. OK, you got it. Anybody else have any other questions on anything or any step that we worked on? That's not your question, though. Does anybody have any questions that they need on this, right? That wasn't my question. No, it wasn't. Well, I know, but I want on the steps. Obviously, I'll do that for you. I just want to get out of the way so Zach can write that everything down, right?